Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for popping by. I really do appreciate it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for popping by. I really do appreciate you. If you are new here, my name is Masi and I'm so excited to have you over. Please do kindly subscribe if you um, relate to my content. I produce content regarding motherhood, homemaking, marriage and everything I basically love and enjoy. If you do hear some noise, that's probably my son being silly motherhood but anyway today I am so excited because I finally put together a few things I had in the house to make this space functional um, so I can be able to study in here uh, basically I work from home so I do have a home office upstairs that's where I do my nine-to-five um, you know my career I do have a career because I've recently you know registered for school again this year yep I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I really don't know why I did it. Um, because yeah, motherhood, being a wife, um, being a student, doing content is just, yeah, I, I don't know why I did it, but we are here now. <laughs> so I'm a student this year and therefore I wanted to create a space that I can be able to do my assignments, study in here. So this is my beautiful tiny nook area, study nook, um, that I've just put together. Um, yeah, so this was just a space in our house that we did not use. I didn't even know what we should do there. You know, at some point I thought we should do, you know, like a, a mini bar, like just put some shelves there, do a mini bar, but I just thought, you know what, let me just, you know, do this now. So this is what I've come up with. Basically, everything that I have here is things that I already had or I already bought, you know, a few months or years ago. So I've put together a few things. They did not cost much at all. I think this didn't cost me more than 300 Rand, if I'm not mistaken. I did a bit of DIY as well. You're going to see, I'm going to be showing you guys how I pull this together and yeah so please do enjoy the video and if you do click on the like button comment down below and let me know if you've had to you know make a space that works for you um in terms of you know a study nook at home or like a small office space man i find that i work better if i have you know a space dedicated to exactly what i want to do this will also be my creative space where i'm able to edit my videos and just you know do my thing um outside of my you know work because I didn't want to sit all day, you know, at, in the same chair doing my 9 to 5 and then doing my, you know, YouTube video edits um, as well as my schoolwork. It just didn't make sense. So I just wanted a space separate from my office and this is what I've come up with. So, uh, yeah, I will do the voiceover to just obviously share the process um, that I took doing this. So please do enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next week. Mwah. So before I begin my work, I just need to make sure that this one eats his breakfast and finishes it. <laughs> this is my son, Hossi, and he's now having his breakfast. What he's having this morning is his bread squares. He enjoys bread. So I just put some cheese on there and then um, some scrambled egg as well as yogurt. On his hand is also some beef patties that I made. I just sliced it up for him to enjoy eating. So that's what he's going to be doing while I get busy. So so yeah, let's let him eat. So let us begin. So basically what I'm going to be doing now is to just make some holes on the walls to hang my mirror as well as my frame i've already done the measurements guys so you did not see that so it's already measured up i know exactly where what is going to go and so yeah let's just put some holes in there and get done
what you see me putting in there is basically a nail but before the nail i normally just put um i don't know what it's called i'm not a diy queen at all uh but it's it's, it's like a, a nail cover almost um it just uh protects the wall as well inside as you drill so that's what i'm doing now that's just me pretending to be a diy queen i'm not <laughs> So there was obviously a mess uh, from the drilling. So what I'm going to do now is to just clean up a bit and make sure that everything is clean. The walls are clean and the surface is clean. So I'm able to put up my mirrors and everything else. For the DIY part of this project, I'm going to be just making something out of this box. I just took this from the garage. You can tell that in this house, we drink a lot of wine. <laughs> can you tell what I'm going to do with this box? Comment down below and let me know. And there we go. Now the box is cut out and ready. Uh, what you can do as well at home is to clean up using some scissors to just clean out the ends a bit. Right now we are outside and I'm going to be spray painting the box. I'm using a black spray paint. I get my spray paints from um, builders. You can use any basically, but um, this is what I'm going to be using now. I'm just spray painting it so it is black and yeah, let's go. I'm going to leave this to dry up a bit um, outside. So back in the house, I'm hanging up my mirror. This mirror I got from Pep Home a couple of months ago. I'm not even sure how much it was. Basically, I think it was about 200 Rand. Uh, I stand to be corrected, but I'm hanging my mirror, looks good. And now I'm going to hang this photo frame I also got from Pep Home. I think it was 55 friends. There's a price there, I can't tell really, but that's what I got. And let's just hang those up. Okay, now everything looks nice and neat. Now I'm going to just be stacking up a few books that I read currently. Um, that black box I DIY'd as well. It's just a box that was sitting in the garage. I just spray painted it again black and I've stacked up a few books that I enjoy. Um, the flower that I just put there now, I got from Mr. Price a couple of years ago. It's a fall plant and I just enjoy it just to bring some greenery in. And also the jar that you see there, the glass jar is from my friend's business. She does Sources. and so when one of my sources finished i thought let me just repurpose this and that's what we've got there also if you guess that i'll be doing a filing box with my box uh you were right <laughs> everything now looks together i'm just putting down my computer to just show you guys a final look of how everything looks like and there we go guys this is my simple very 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 cheap and affordable way to just you know transform your small space in your home and make it a dedicated space to study or to work um, people are working from home now so i hope that this is a motivation to just clean up you know, a space or a corner in your home and make it your creative space i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with your friends and family just to motivate everyone to get going with you know transforming their small spaces in their homes and i will see you guys in the next week thank you for watching and stay blessed